All right, so it looks like this girl actually decided to use her late box. And I'm thinking this is probably gonna be the largest clutch blood python wise of the season. I think the next girl um, that goes is a lot smaller, so she'll drop a, uh, she'll drop a smaller clutch. But this is um, a Strike Batrix, so she's a Batic Matrix, and she was bred to a Toba 100% het for T plus albino. So let's see how well she did. Okay. Cool. Let's count how many she dropped. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 14 eggs. Let's see if they're good. That looks good. That looks good. Good. Good, 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 mm. good. All right, so I think most of them are, are good. This one's a little difficult. No, this one's good. All right, so stay tuned. We're gonna show the cutting. All right, so it looks like a few of the babies have already pipped. Let's see what we have. This one has his head out. So I'm gonna start with this one. Oh, what is that? I don't know if you can see that, but that's super interesting looking. That's gotta be a Toba Batik or something like that. I don't think I've ever seen that color on a blood pipe on before. It almost looks um, T plus. I know the Toba's had T plus. Batik is a head for T plus though. Mom, let me see. All right, so that's the first baby. Let's check this one. This one's head's right there too. Come on, see what you are. You look kind of dark. I'm gonna guess this might be a bad tick. Yeah, that's a bad tick. Maybe a Batrix. We'll see. I'm gonna cut all the eggs that I already pipped. So this one. Looks like they almost made their own incision going around. What is this? Ah, oh, don't fly out on me, dude. What the fuck? That's a T plus. Is this girl have a T plus a white on? Yeah, that's a T plus albino. I gotta, um, I'm gonna have to hit up uh, my dude, Mark, at Bloodborne. I brought the mother from him. She's a Batrix, which is a Batic Matrix. And I'm guessing she's 100% head for T plus, cause that's gotta be a T plus. And that first one I cut too, I'm guessing now is a T plus albino, see? I can't tell what that is. Matrix Toba, maybe. Which one else? This one here. What is that? Yeah, so that's definitely some Batic combination. This one split as well. Let's see. Okay. 
Ne. Hmm. Maybe a matrix. This egg is really sunken in there. Yeah, that's another T plus animal. I could see um bat the pattern is batik. T plus batik in there. Pretty wild. Another Batik looking combination. thing Patrick's nope, another Patrick's you are. That looks a matrix. This is going to be a really fun clutch to ID. Look at that. It's got one of those soft spots. Alright, so we got another T plus. Man, that thing is pretty crazy. This one doesn't this one's eggs and this inside looks pretty desiccated though. Let's see. I'm trying to get a T plus Batic. No, that's gotta be a T plus Batrix. Maybe Toba, I'm not even sure. That's pretty wild looking. I gotta find out if these things really do have um, T plus in them. Cause this thing right here, this is the biggest baby so far too. That looks like a T plus Toba right there. I'm trying to show it off better. Look the head on that. The color on that head is crazy. That looks like a T plus Toba to me. And then this one. Looks crazy too. Maybe T plus Toba. Batik, Batrix type. I don't know. We'll wait to see when they come out. Yeah, I don't want to disturb them too much. Yeah, that thing is crazy right there. That's gotta be Toba. All right, so keep watching. All right, so right there we got a matrix. We got a second matrix. 
and then we got a third matrix. All right, so yeah, I believe all three of these are gonna be on um, matrixes. I'd have to compare them to the Tobas I produced um, a few years back, the baby pictures, because they almost look a little Toba, Toba-like. But if I see pink tongues, I'm pretty sure they're gonna be matrix. I can't really tell with this one's tongue. It's giving me a little bit of a hard time. Yeah, some uh, Matrix and Tobas, they can look a little bit alike. So this one could actually be a Toba. Yeah, you see? This has a pink tongue. So I'm pretty sure that's a Matrix. And that one definitely has a pink tongue. All right, so that's the first three. We got right here. Looks like a genetic stripe batik. Then we got a second batik. This one doesn't have as uh, this one doesn't have as much of the stripe look as this one does. You can kind of see the stripe look on the dorsal pattern. Really nice. And I know these aren't Batrix, on um, Batrix Matrix, because they don't have um, pink tongues. They have really dark tongues to them. And then here's a third one. You can see a dark tongue. So, three Batrix. Two of them, I believe, are striped batics. This one right here, that one right there. Now, we have a T plus batrix. So this is gonna be a batic matrix. You can see the animal's a lot more heavily patterned coming up the sides and even in the back than the regular batics. I'm pretty sure this one's gonna be um, Batrix T plus Obino. Yeah, it looks like the mom is uh, definitely 100% hep for T plus Obino, which is really cool. I spoke to uh, Mark from Bloodborne Reptiles earlier. He, um, I purchased the mom from him back in 2016 as just a regular striped Batrix, and he told me um, she came from a you know a regular pairing, nothing with um, visual T plus in it or T plus that he knows of. So it looks like one of those parents that produced the baby passed along um, the T plus gene was probably a het for T plus. And that's why I got T plus albinos in this clutch. So the next one up is a little feistier. There we go. Not gonna mess with that one too much. So another T plus albino Batrix. Much, much nicer color one. A lot more red. Can't really tell. I don't think any of these are striped Batrixes, but this one is. This one is really nice. It's gonna really be um a much more colorful animal. It's a little feistier. I'm not trying to upset them too much because once one baby starts biting and going crazy, it might cause um the rest of them to go into like a frenzy of biting and stuff. So. So two T plus Batrixes. All right, so here's one of the grail animals of the clutch. A T plus albino toba. Now, if you see the side patterning, this is why I think those first three animals are just matrixes, because this is definitely a toba. But that one animal looks a little bit more similar to this one than the other ones. I did not expect to uh, produce uh, a visual T plus um, Toba in this clutch. And this thing is just crazy. Look at the, um, 
Man, look at the color of the head. And you gotta see this animal in person. This thing just glows. Really has like um like a cool type of look to it. It's really adding a completely different color spectrum from most of the other morphs in the, um, in the game right now. A lot, a lot of cool stuff, possibilities right now with the Toba stuff. It's gonna be interesting to see how this animal colors up. I can't even imagine what this is gonna look like as an adult. That animal. Yeah, this camera's not picking up that color at all. And go even more insane right now. With the first ever produced T plus albino toba batik. This is the first one ever produced that I know of. I know VPI had already produced the T plus tobas some years back. <clears throat> but you can see how different this looks from the those other T plus Batrixes. Same thing, super light, very clean, very clean head. And then I know this is a Batik because um. I'm pretty sure it's a Batrix because it's got a lot of this open pattern on the side. With the Batrix matrix in there, you won't get that. You can see just how much lighter the Toba gene does to these animals. Really, really happy that these popped up. Let me get this one out the way. It's messing up the shot. And that one's gonna bite now. And then I wanna show you one of the non-toba next to them. You can see the difference in colors. So that's the Batik Matrix, the Batrix T plus albino versus the T plus albino. Toba Batik. Take this camera off real quick. There we go. See all that open up pattern. Pretty sure that it's just a Batik. And then you see the Batrix, the Matrix does. And it increases the pattern even more. And the Toba adds a completely new, um, color to the animal so really cool that's basically what's happening here it is with this combo at least the toe was um changing the color especially with the t plus in there i think it's adding a little extra to the pattern a little maybe a little bit more there going on there than what a regular batik would be maybe not but it's definitely changing the color all right so these babies are now starting to move around a lot try to get them to stay still because we have even better Alright, so if you thought the T plus albino tobas would end, they were just the beginning. Here it is. I believe this is a Toba Batik Matrix. Just when you thought you couldn't get any more pattern on a snake. Look at that animal. The color is super light too. Usually, um, if it was just a Batrix, it would be more of a brownish snake. And then, let's see if I can get the head. It's got that clean head. Very clean head, almost 
lavender looking. Let me see if we could get a shot of its face. Come here. Show your face, there you go. Look at that head. The belly. I mean, this thing is crazy. Extremely thrilled with it. Look how the pattern looks on it too. It's just wild. Wicked, wicked looking animal. Pink tongue, so I know the matrix in there. Definitely know the bad tick is in there. And I'm pretty certain with all this light color, the extra, um, extra pattern to it, or more wild the pattern looks, which is crazy to say because really nothing else in blood pythons is, is more heavily padded than um, a bat a bat tricks batic matrix so and so far any other morphs we put into bat tricks so far into the batic matrix have actually a lot of them have actually been on um, reducing the patterns really really nice animal it's got some browns, yellows already, and uh, a very gray wash to it. Almost, almost like um, a granite berm, I would say. This thing is even better looking than a monsoon ball python. I can't even begin to think what this is gonna um, color up to as an adult. The head's really nice and clean. And then, to make it even better, I believe this is a second one. Just not as nice. I think the other one's a little nicer. But look at the head on it. Really nice head. This one may have more stripe, um, genetic stripe influence in it. Looking at the base of the tail. Really, really nice looking. All right, so here's a look at the entire clutch together. Just a really great variety in this clutch. I mean, even the matrix animals in here are already loaded with color and everything's only gonna get better as they age. Keep your head down. And then these T plus albino batrixes, I mean, they look almost red already which is crazy. T plus Toba, see that head? That clean head on the T plus Toba. And then you see it right here on the, what I believe to be the Toba Batic Matrix. Same thing. Can't focus in. And then the, where's it at? The T plus. Toba Batic as well has that clean head. And there's the other one with the clean head. They're trying to make an escape for it. Where y'all going, man? I'm surprised they haven't started lighting me up yet, but they're probably a little cold.
super nice clutch though. I think the Tober Gene is really gonna add a lot of new color to the blood game. Like I said, those things look almost crystal-like, especially now that you see them next to everything else. That's just the regular Toba right there. And then the Toba Batik T Plus. Toba T Plus. Super bright animals already. But that's all I got for y'all. Y'all already know what it is. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next time. Later.